All right, we're making a lasagna. <laughs> Food. Here's the ingredients. I'm gonna do some eggplant and zucchini, you know, all the kind of good stuff. I like to put uh, artichokes in my sauce. And you know, there's not much there. We'll just uh, kind of get going. Um, da, 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 da. I like to do the um, onion, the garlic. More garlic later. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> I remember the first time. six kids being late for dinner kept threatening to go on strike and not cook for us. Well, the Detroit Detroit auto strikes hit and I don't, I think it was I don't know who it was, but my mom split a scene and she goes, that's it! I'm done cooking for all of you. I'll cook for your dad and your little brother because my little brother is like a almost like what three or four or something and uh five and she just said that's it i'm done you guys are done you're on your own and we're like oh my god what are you doing no and the next day we just like okay what's for dinner nothing's for dinner nothing's for dinner and we all just started making whatever we wanted to make and mom was like S -s -s she didn't do it nope no, nope. Dad, what's going on? Okay, she would make a dinner, something for him and and Eric. That's it. And we're like, oh fuck, what the heck? And I'm like, shit. And that's when I learned to cook. I learned just to just okay. I remember the first thing I did was I got oh spaghetti meat sauce. I took a frozen chunk of uh, ground meat out of the freezer and threw it in a pan with oil, frozen, and then started scraping it with a fork. And I remember I could get dinner for me and my sister and my brother, or whoever was there, in half an hour. Okay, let's do it, oh, we'll do this, the spaghetti. And then we'd all oh, we'll go downstairs and you get the, you know, we, my dad from Green Bay, packaging. We had an entire shelves of shelves of packaged canned vegetables. I didn't even know what real vegetables were until I like escaped Wisconsin and came to the West. <laughs> you know? And we had this one shelf, it was no labels, it was a mystery. And we go, hey what do you want? You know, there, there's you go get the, the the corn or the whatever it was, you know, carrots, mixed greens, uh I hated those because the lima beans gross. I still don't like lima beans. But whatever. You get dinner on the table as fast as you can. Go pick a, grab a can of <laughs> vegetables and I'll do it. The mystery bag. What, what is it going to be? No, you got mixed vegetables. Those are the words. All right. I'm going to put this stuff over here because I don't think I need it. I'm going to start to go for Let's do it. Olive oil. Olive oil. Put it in there. Put it in there. We'll need some more. I'm going to chop that up. I want to chop more up here. I think I might need like twice as much as that. So like, can you see stuff? Yeah. 
just makes it okay. It all dissolves anyway. I'm pretty sure there's a right and wrong way to do everything. So what I'm showing you is what I do. <laughs> there might not be a right or wrong way. And I'm sure there's a more efficient way in some things. And So the first time I made it after that whole thing, we're eating, we're eating, and I was at my friend's house, and we're all cooking dinner, cooking dinner, and a couple months later, someone was at my friend's house, and his mom's making a lasagna, this thing. I go, what is that? And she like, this is lasagna. I'm going, oh my God, and I watched her make it, and I'm like, that's not so hard. And then one day, I, like, I'm like, I go, can I have the recipe? And she gave me the recipe. Because he was my best friend, we were like over there all the time. The only way I go, I go to my dad, who did all the cooking at our house when mom did. He, 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 kind of, he did the shopping. He went and shopped because he had the banker. He had the whole thing wired. I go, Dad, I want to make a lasagna. And he looked at me and goes, what? I go, I want to make a lasagna. This is, you know, Axel told me, okay, sure, let's do it. And so he goes, you, have, you know what you need? I go, yeah. And uh, we went shopping, got all the stuff. And uh, I just like, he helped me kind of put it all together and get, you know, we started, I just did it. He just let me do it. Because my dad, my dad was one of those guys, I'd be sitting there toiling, screaming at my bike. I can't get the chain on, I can't do this. And then he'd come over and he goes, what's wrong? I go, let's look at this thing, let's look at this Oh, really? Oh, here, well, this is how you do it. And he, goes, and he would go, do it. And he would do the whole thing. And then he goes, see? I go, okay, thanks. And then he would take it all up and mess it and then walk away. Now do it. And now go <laughs> do it. I'm like, ah, no! <laughs> so close. I was, Dad, oh, no! I mean, you just laugh. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, I know when I first broke my first window, my dad, he, didn't, he just kind of laughed. He goes, okay, well, I just here, come on. And we go measure it and go to the store and get a new window. And he showed me how to, <laughs> how to glaze a window in. And he was like, what, I don't know, 13, 99? I have no idea. And then he, he hey, Greg, I broke one here. Come over and fix it. Hey, Greg, come over and fix it. So I just realized every time I had did something, I just learned how to do it so he could have me do it later. <laughs> Which is smart, you know. I remember sweating pipes, and you know, now it's like a, it's a, it's like a lost art. There's no sweating copper anymore. No. Time for heat. Garlic onions, garlic onions. I don't know. I just might not be fully Italian. My friend Joanna. 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 I wonder if I can say her name. No, she's Italian. Oh my god. She would go, she would tell me and go, oh mom, they she would go to a friend's house and go. They have onions in the sauce. Because your mom would go, just eat it, just eat it. We're at you. We're at you. you know, like, <laughs> that's, you know, just eat it, just eat it. That's what I remember anyway. <laughs> but you know what? I like how onions uh, kind of taste. So. And I'm German. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you my trick later, which is more German. So then I made the lasagna, and my dad's like totally stoked. And from that moment on, we would go a while, and all of a sudden, uh, my Cindy or Grant or Eric or whoever, Jesse, hey, hey, Greg, uh, when are you going to make lasagna? And so we'll just be like, okay, lasagna, like, hey, Dad, we want to make lasagna. You get all this stuff, and then I'd make it. 
And then I think I started just mashing lasagna recipes. I'd have like five different cheeses and all this stuff. And, and like, you know, Jesus burning the wrong flame here. <laughs> and um, that's what I would like. really make a recipe of my own. And my dad made a salt recipe, right? It's like, oh, like a bunch of different salts and uh, peppers and different things. And he always had a big jar of it. And we go, what is in there, Dad? And Mom made killer Rubens. Oh, my God. I wish I had my mom's Ruben right now. Oh, dude, it was so good. It's like, I don't need, I still, she would do onions and put all stuff in there. I'm like, oh, it was so good. But anyway, my dad made this this salt. And that would be done. And, and he always called it his secret salt recipe. <laughs> And when he died, it was gone. And I got all of the I got all the letters from his uh, next his next wife. My mom passed away. He passed away, and uh, she sent me all of his letters that I sent him, all poems and piece of art and all this stuff in a big envelope and you know in that pile of stuff and I had asked my dad hey dad what's the recipe what's in here and he would never say oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so in my notes and in my my you know stuff I was looking through it and in there it says in my dad's handwriting secret salt recipe. And it has all of this stuff. And so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make this, I'm making it. So I made it and I made it and it was, it was like great. And, uh, and then I, uh, I made it for all my brothers and sisters. And then, I made it for other people, and I just made like I made batches of it, oh, batches of it. Yeah. Just, like one of the, you know, it's, it's basically like, four different salts and, and two different peppers and oh, six different salts and different types, you know, from around the world. And, yeah. and my dad just he would just keep following, he just got them all, and then did it and made it, and he made a big, big jar of it. And then uh, I'm like looking at it, I'm like going. What the fuck is this? And he had like, you know, all of it was one part, two part, one part, corner part. And he's, uh, doing all of, like all these, you know, his, like, one part, one part, one part, one part, quarter part, quarter part, quarter part. And he's, I look at, what's this heck? It's a fucking accent. It's like two parts accent. And then I look up, it's freaking MSG, solid MSG. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is this MSG? So I just like, re like eliminated that and it's it. And it's still good. And it's all it is, is what the heck is MSG? It's just a, you know, flavor saver. See, that's the thing, if I was really, like, on it, I would know what MSG is. Monosodium and glutamate. The freaking, just... I'm gonna check that out. Mm. <laughs> Here, now, it would be really nice, is to every, once in a while, just go like, you know, like, ooh, look at that. See that? And that's just onions and garlic. Is that a good positioning? Mm -hmm. And now I'm cutting up 
my marinated artichokes, which I don't know. I started using marinated artichokes out of the jar because they just make everything taste good. You know, you can just, I think, <laughs> and they're artichokes. That's another thing I never saw. I was probably 20. Two, 23 before I even saw an artichoke. And one, my girlfriend is like, what's this? I go, what the heck is this? Who makes this artichoke? And I'm like, who ever found the food in artichokes? I don't know. Like, how did you ever find what's inside all this goodness of an artichoke? Sometimes when I cook, I uh, like I want to use everything. And the last time I had a whole jar and a half of you know sauce, I'm like, oh! But then I I put it in a can, and I was like, oh my god, this is the best, you know, <laughs> spaghetti sauce, anything sauce, lasagna sauce. And I ate that for a couple of days, and then all of a sudden, you know. Everybody was in virus mode, and now we're all in virus mode. The entire planet is in virus mode. They're peddling fear, so we all kind of fall in line. Well, we've always been falling in line. Is this how severe do you think your freedom is? I almost went to cooking school, being a chef, I'm so glad I didn't. I, I still like cooking. It's not my life and I'm like doing it all the time for people. And I could never be a, like a chef that's doing, you know, competition stuff. I could care less. <laughs> If you like it and I did it right. Did I do it right for you? No. So. That's good. Okay, now we're practically getting the base going. I need garlic. Are you choking out? Not a vegetarian dish. This is bacon fat. You now, I told you I make my own recipe. This recipe right now is um, out of my brain. Oregano. Oregano. <laughs> Don't use your teeth. Oh my gosh. You should smell this. It's really good. I can. <laughs> huh? I can. Wash your hand in. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, darn it. 
my hands are completely slippery. So I have uh, my secret salt recipe, which is really not secret. It's just onion, garlic, celery, you know, sea salt, another salt, big peppers, small peppers. Oh yeah. And this is a little bit of everything too. Vegetables are going there. Nothing. These are these are being cooked up now. Can you see that? There's nothing else that goes in here. Let this go a little bit. you can kind of pretty much put anything you want in, I think, a sauce. If you like it, I can put the eggplant in the sauce, and I can put all of it in the sauce, but, you know, I'm going to start with this, and then we're going to kind of now put the meat in. Put the meat in. I can't think you're cooking if you don't put the meat. If you say something like that, can can that be kind of like messed with later? Like, oh, you, 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 you just, you, you just, you know. Yeah. People use lyrics all the time, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, you could say a lyric or a parody. Yeah, totally. So, mmm, da da Okay, now you can just simmer, simmer, simmer. One of those. Oh, you know what I was gonna—I was gonna suggest. So we're gonna have—you can have a couple pieces, right? We have fabbing, like or the bill, right? And cook, cook food and uh, art and stuff, right? <laughs> we should have in the background 
like, okay, this is food. Well, food is more jazz. You know what I mean? Just get like, you know, I can just, I can just, you know. The soundscape is very important. Well, it's like, I, I can see, I can see it being just like, it's jazz. Oh, that's all the food, it's just jazz, and no matter what, you know? You know, I like uh, Peter Gunn and, you know, Brubeck and, you know, Take oh. Five and all that, and just kind of like, bah, 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 bah. I mean, you can't help but have good food <laughs> if you're listening to that. Like, it's almost impossible to get, like, angry <laughs> with that, you know? Okay, I'm going to do this. Do that, so I'm just cut all these up and put the put this in so it so back to my making my own recipe I um, use brats but only a couple of brats and then mostly Italian sausage the German surprise it's a German it's a German twist and uh, on the Italian thing. So if you don't like brats, just use all Italian sausage. And went to it. Or, you know, use uh, faking sausage or whatever the soy meat based product stuff is on the market now. I'm just waiting for the next, you know, thing that they're gonna completely go, oh, this is, now, now everybody's eating this. Peas. I guess peas and soy have been completely worked, GMO'd. It's the soy, the, the largest production of food, regular corn. Soy the first. is where I need that titanium. I gave fun a whole sheet of titanium that this woman gave me because I and I'm using it for my wings in the art pieces, the, the gold pieces. But he's a blacksmith so he's been using it and I told him I want this shape out of it. Because that shape is, oh, is yeah. the side of a skillet. And this is an old one. Didn't he make some? He did, I showed you. Yeah. So he started making them. <laughs> I don't want to get one. mentality kind of play in and uh, you know what if you like to eat it you better make it Yeah, 1974, that was an epic year. 
epic. My mom quit cooking for us, and I started working at the bakery at 12. And so every time I like do stuff like this, I go, oh, you is clean, clean, clean. Because I think I was 12, making 50 cents an hour, child labor laws, and I uh, learned how to clean for the first two or three years. Thousands of pans. Thousands of pans. Pan upon pan. So, you either keep it clean or get cuffed. <laughs> it's a new world order now. Kids, kids don't know the, the value of being cuffed. <laughs> They don't even know what the word cuffed is. They think it's like something in their shoe after running out a long time. <clears throat> yeah, if my, my grandpa caught, caught me eating a cookie or a donut, he can't come up behind and just practically cuff it out of my mouth. You're eating the profits. Like, shut up. There are no profits. It's a bakery. It's a bakery. You're going to eat like 15 cents a, uh, a cookie, 30 cents a donut, a roll. Bread was, bread was a, a dollar, a dollar fifty. And anytime that we raise the rate, the, 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 the prices, if anybody complained, grandma would, oh, no, no, you can't. They won't buy it. They won't buy it. Meanwhile, Grandpa and Dad are in the, you know, back screaming about taking the loaves out because Grandpa wanted a good crust and Dad, nobody will buy them if they're burnt. No, they need a good crust. One more time and they'd be fighting at the door. Get it out, get it out. No, leave it in. You know. Those are the memories I live on. This thing I found, oh, I put this in too. Okay. Almost forgot. Chicken, ground chicken. Organic if you can. Yeah, so I used to like be worried about, oh, I shouldn't use all this much, but now I can save it and put it in the freezer. And It's, you know, it's a meat sauce. It's supposed to have meat on it, you know? I don't pretend to be a, a vegetarian. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, we are in an infectious uh, world, so. Cleaning vegetables, I guess, is mandatory. Always was. I always think about how many like greasy fingers have touched your vegetables already. In oh all the, all, all the, just like. And then you get. You, I don't know. It's particularly. It's probably a lot of fruit, but some fruit like cucumbers. There's actually a film of wax and yuck on it. You know, like, Who's putting that on? Who's doing that? What's it doing in there? Okay. So. Slice. Let's see. I did those that, both that. Thickness. It's pretty crazy to have such high production values is like when you say something and it all of a sudden happens. You know, like that? It's pretty cool. Like how can you not have like good food coming out of this 
place like plays jazz. So I've had this idea to make my lasagna with all these vegetables and the last time we had it is like I actually grilled eggplant. I did only one and uh, broccoli. And this time I'm doing zucchini. Should I just pack it in or not? You sound like you're going. Italian with, you know, leader hosen on it. <laughs> you know what? Did you get some leader hosen in this? <laughs> How did you get leader hosen on it? It's really, really mm, distinctive. supposed to salt this and do all sorts of stuff to it, which is danger, danger, Roger Ranger, that's my finger. Salt and pepper. Never touch anything ever, except like cereal and you know yogurt maybe. Just enough in these days and times to wash your hands and uh, make sure everything is clean. Like grandpa and grandma wanted it. God, I think people would be completely horrified. I have to find a piece, but. Thanksgiving special. She had a whole turkey and as she's coming out of the kitchen into the thing, the whole thing drops on the floor and she picks it up and looks at the camera and nobody sees what's happening in the kitchen. And you're like, oh, nobody does, yeah. And I have to, I should look for that. I'm sure, I think I saw it. People are, now? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do this. Ten, ten, ten minutes or so. Alright, the meat's going a little bit longer. 
We have they have uh, vegetables in the roasting. I think cooking and, 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 and like pretty much all cooking is pretty much based off of just chopping up stuff a little bit at a time. Okay. Jack these um I'm gonna have to open these up Ginsu style. Alright. This Ginsu one will be the this the one I shot my hand off. Okay. true jazz, if something happens, you just have to kind of keep rolling, you know? slower but you know what just turn it down a little bit and just wait all right paste is next all right clean all the utensils The 
is why I'm not like a professional. Because I don't have all the gear in hand. Isn't professional kind of a state of mind? What do you think? I was at Home Depot in the freaking lines waiting to get the good stuff. And uh, there's a line there and it had pros. And there's like six or seven people and the other one was like all of us lemmings that were all just like, yeah, we're just making normal people. And then normal people started going into the line and I was just like, well, what, do you make? what makes you a pro? I'm like, well, they think they are. <laughs> And I was like, then I started, you know, because this is a perfect opportunity to start asking. So what are your credentials for being a pro? Are they, um, are they, is it a paper? Is it something that you went to school for? Did you get like, usually it's kind of like, well, you're a general contractor, you're a pro. Well, no, you know, there's a lot of pro stuff out there. But how did they get to be a pro? And then what made these people that were not pros to be pro in the line there? I don't know. I was like, okay. I still sat there. I go, well, I should just go in the pro line. So then I was already, uh, you know, committed, committed to the the other line. But I have to admit, when I go to Home Depot, I do go and just drive up right to the pro area and go, I'm looking right here. I get paid for everything I do. That's, that's pro, professional. You get paid for what you do, right? I mean, does it have to be of a certain caliber or not? I guess it's all caliber, but uh, does it have to be a certain type of work? That you get paid for to be a pro at Home Depot? You have an account. <laughs> you have an account. <laughs> That's it. Oh, duh. Great. I forgot. You're part of the system. You are in the system. That makes you a professional. You know, there's plenty of. Professionals that don't want to be in the system. You know, I, I still have a landline. Does that make me a pro? I challenge. I, I challenge anybody to find somebody doing stuff as long or longer than me. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, two down. What else am I getting? I'm gonna get this. Might as well get that in there. So I do a big sheet and I put an entire thing of spaghetti sauce. This is organic marinara sauce. Oh wow, look at how easy that was. That really does a trick. And as my grandma would say, you want to use everything that you got, so do that. And grandma will be happy. Okay. You can go turn back up. Oh, yum, 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 yum. My basil plant is sorely. Okay, that is. So we're gonna do that, flip them. It'll be about 25 minutes or so. Doing with the grill, the grill is completely, it makes it longer, but whatever. I also had uh, my Italian, I uh, had a partner, um, and he, he said they 
they won't even do their sauce unless it could be sat for three days. And it would just be really low and it would just go. And he goes, that's how you make a good sauce. And, you know, I have a friend, she makes her, she makes her sauce in about an hour and it's it, it done and done and then like on the table for super fast. I'm like, yeah, but where's the, the blending of the, the food? That's why I think it's like, there's some foods that actually taste better, like, like a lasagna. When have you ever had a lasagna the next day bad? Never, ever, ever. It just doesn't happen. Because... Okay, keep going, Greg, keep going. I'm going to do, yeah. Peel hole, peel hole. There's something to be said with. All right, I'm gonna do these ones. <laughs> we make all our own tools. <laughs> and big snips. <laughs> you know. <laughs> just be sure not to slice your thumb off, because you know it's what makes us different. Sometimes the sauce that they come with this is not entirely what I'm like looking for. Oh, but I'll tell you, I think the best, one of the best tools in the kitchen is your scissors. I started using scissors to cut steak. Oh my God, oh, there you go. tomatoes. A little bit too much sauce. I'll probably use it all anyway. Just... thing my grandma could do better than anybody she could like clean the bowl of stuff and like we were like dropping donut like raspberries or apricots and like her bowl would be completely done clean like and she, like, she would look at mine and go oh I can get two more donuts out of that and she'd like go shh I'm like living through like two wars, two wars and not having any food. America doesn't know what that is for the last 60, 70 years. We have four, four or five generations or more of entitled little brats that look at, look at their food as a t an entitlement instead of a gift. And they think it's all just shows up, you know, there's nobody making it. There's no workers sitting there toiling right now while everybody's sitting there comfortably taking their 
two months vacation and there, the people that are working are still doing it to give us our food. Nobody sees that those people at all. Hopefully they do now. Because they have always kept the country going. In my humble opinion, Kind of want, I think you want them really well done. I'm a well done type of person, and less. And well, you know, they could be losing all their, you know, nutrients, but I don't think so. When they go into the lasagna, I like them to be done, and then when they're in there, they're just kind of melting together. Uh, okay, I think you have to go longer than 20 minutes. say at least one joke while we're cooking too. We have to say a joke, so. Two peanuts were walking down the street and one was assaulted. That's a quick one, quickie. Okay. The sauce is all the way. We have our noodles to do and Right Okay, now this could, this um, can go for another 12 up to 36 hours, and uh, it'll be good. But we're going to go for about another hour, get all of our eggplant done, zucchini done, noodles will come right behind, and here we're doing the noodle -ios. And, uh, oh, I might, well, we're kind of, kind of ways away from that anyway. Because if I'm going to do that, well, do I need to do all these eggplants? Maybe I'll just do one more. Just do an eggplant. One more eggplant. You're right. Okay. And then keep one for another meal. Get off. Yeah, my Robbie. Okay, this is over. Okay, we'll just set that. We're gonna make those. So those are part of the layering. Layering. <laughs> Time to practice.
No more can opener, we don't have any can opener. Spoons, knives, and forks. Keep them separate, please. Because they grow so enormous. Yeah, that's okay. That's all I'm doing. So the, the, um, I've also I got this really funny squiggly pasta, and I thought, oh, really good. And I did a layer of that, and it was really great. But just not using lasagna noodles, but using totally a funny type of pastas to go in there. But they take up so much more room, it was just like one layer of that in the middle. I'm not letting this go with the pot on because I kind of want it just to kind of circulate. But if I wanted to reduce, I just take the top off and then it kind of gets more thick. But I kind of want to keep it just percolating and doing its thing. Spin around, don't burn yourself. Boil, boil. Trouble in toil. That always goes on in my head when I think of like some cauldron thing. 
Boy, oh boy, oh trouble, joy, oh I'm sure they have a whole uh, weekend thing with that. <laughs> nothing else. There's nothing else that, to be put in here except noodly and cheese. Thank you. What kind of cheese? I am, uh, this one I'm using mozzarella and ricotta. I, I usually do a little cottage cheese in there, but I decided not to do that on this one. And uh, Parmesan on the top. I mean, sometimes I, I use Gouda. Oh, I totally destroyed an entire lasagna by using, oh, I'm going to use smoked Gouda. Oh, the raw, it's like here, just throw sardines in it and everything will taste like that. I was like, so, I choked it down now. <laughs> you know, food's food. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't do it. Just delete it. <laughs> I was always amazed. My dad just had his whole pile, pile, like, food on the plate. And no matter what, it would just turn into all of this. He was like, I don't care, this all goes in the same place. <laughs> And my other grandpa, who was, you know, he's grandpa, his whole thing was the one who eats the fastest gets the mostest. <laughs> Me and my brother was like, go at it. First one done, food up and then grabbing. It's like, you don't know how, how like sacred food is and when somebody's trying to grab it. <laughs> like, we're in America, kid. Check on the pasta with that camera. <laughs> what do you mean? Is there pasta on it? Oh, I see. I was gonna let it go for a little bit. It needs to oil up. It looks good when it's just like a little oil in it. And oh, it, yeah. It has a weird, like, <laughs> orange, orange, grease color. It's super cool. Yeah, yes. Mm hmm See, like that right there? Like all over, that's like the grease, the good stuff. <laughs> oh, excuse me. How long do those things take? 12, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Depends on your patience. <laughs> 10 minutes in there. I'm personally not an El Dante kind of person. I like my, my noodles done. Mm -hmm. I like noodles that are really noodly. Noodly and like a different texture. Shape of the complete uh, bowl. Look at this. They all like went to the shape of the bowl. You know, they're spinning around. <laughs>
I've used them that are, um, like, you don't have to boil. But they're kind of hard. You boil, boil, boil. Lava fields in, in uh, Star Wars when Anakin is like arms are legs cut off. They're going to be enough to like, get a couple of, uh, a couple of jars of it extra. Okay, that's over there. Hmm, maybe we should just do it over here. Should we construct everything over here? I'm not usually one to, you know, either that or we have that. 
I said, yeah, that's Let's not play games here. <laughs> <laughs> Intermission time. <laughs> a little intermission music. Is a virtue because how many times is that in your life? Sometimes it just, it just happens because I just do it. <laughs>
cheese and then the noodles. But I kind of like the cheese melting into the meat. And the noodles kind of, kind of like on the, the barrier, so I kind of think I'm just going to do with the meat. See that? So let's see. Cheese, vegetables, noodles. Yes. Cheese, vegetables. So I take you over cotta. Mix it up a little bit because sometimes it's a little chunky, but the thing is to kind of spread it out. My dad, like towards the end of the bakery, was obsessed with like bars. He thought those were the big thing. Those were gonna be it. And now like the, the all the like the cliff bars and all those things are totally it. But this is when we made these, he had this date bar thing. And you had to, you know, kind of massage it all over the place. This is a little bit more runny than the ricotta I was using before. The work with it yet. I call this fucking little guy. He says, Oh, God, no, no, piano's out of tune. He goes, Play in tune. <laughs> I love that idea. You know what? Play it in tune. Just freaking play it. This is bad. This is like a blue. We're going to play it. You're gonna be my ricotta tools. Oh. You know, you can do this beforehand and just drop it, but it's better than just doing it and then you're touching it. That's another thing, Grandma. If you touch something twice in her old double come bubble, double come bubble, and like this old German lady accent, you're like, hey, quit. She's like, double come bubble, you touch it twice. Don't just pick it up and put it where you're gonna put it. These are just for those little bites. What is that? Oh, that's grilled zucchini. Really?
the chip and then I'll evaporate it. And then poof. Everybody can see that together with somebody and say, this is the perfect size to do a new one. My dad was really into these, all these bars and just layers of different materials like this. And you would be putting like uh, icing on like dates that, that were that had a layer of brown walnuts and then other things. And so if you like picked it up, if you picked it, it would just like if you did it wrong, it would be like oh, it would just turn into this thing. And there's this whole trick of like what I'm doing right now. Never pick your spoon up. Just keep pushing it around. And so it's like one of these things that, oh, she was, all those like little years later, I'm still using that, that thing that I told me, oh, pick it up, just push it around. The first time I put this huge blocks down there, I realized that was a real huge blocks. Now you have to do this because like, it's a little bit runny. The last ricotta, it kind of broke away and was like really texturally kind of really, ooh, I, I like this. Yeah, it's all about the texture. Now, right? I think I'm only going to get one. Sometimes you get three layers, sometimes you get two. So 
this is a kind of a perfect example of like spreading this out and having it peel up. But this is, see that it's so viscous that it doesn't matter what happens. You push it around, you gotta kind of like, oh, do this, oh. And so I just kind of do this, and when I do that, all the stuff that I don't get, I get with the mozzarella. And then just keep, it just makes a little blanket of cheese, and that's what it's all about. And you could really put any cheese you want in here. I mean, you can try the smoke food after it wasn't really good. Not at all. I mean, it was good. I mean, I like smoke food, but not when you, it's like, you know, oh, I'm going to have some orange juice. All of a sudden it's milk. Or milk and you have orange juice. Ugh. So that's just kind of like, put it in there. Okay. I was gonna throw away, you're gonna go, okay, grandma's right. Oh, yeah. You know? I multiply that by every time it's made. Yeah, and I'm sorry, but people are just gonna have to get over it. It's a finger. She would use her fingers, and look at that. That's an entire amount of cookie. Yeah. And she had this way, this is a little tight, but she had this way of using the back of her finger. Now, look at that. Yeah. That's a lot. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm putting it in there. Yeah. I'll, I'll, this is my bite right there. Whatever. I know. <laughs> but she had the way of using the back of her finger like this. Get that inside lip. And she yeah. would just like clean bowls. Yeah. <laughs> to go to the bathroom just go just go don't this whatever you're doing just go because that's the worst for you to hold it in and do it and you don't need to just, just go let's go get it over we're, with. we'll get over that you're not there <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, good then. and actually it's really like you know it's a smart thing don't worry about it just do it just go Keep it's up being your, quicker just, yeah oh i gotta go right you know, you know quicker and less pain move it down get it down And besides the, the, the bathroom at the, the banker is downstairs, like right next to the conveyor belt on the stairs. So if you went down there, you could flick on the conveyor belt and go up this conveyor belt. Cheese. Amounts are personal thing. You know? Of course. You can go by uh, by recipes, which are really good, and I like recipes. But when you do something so many times, and you just do it, you know, this happens, you know, do you need that? Let's see, let's put a different way. Ooh, put right in there. Thing. My dad was like the master of like making 
oh, there'd be like all this stuff and there'd be room for three extra cookies and he would just like put my three extra cookies out of everything. He's like, okay, yeah, uh, you know. Noodles, noodles. I like to chop it off just so it doesn't, that stuff burns. Okay. Oh, geez, you can feel a gurgle. <laughs> All right, and then we have. Like secrets like that. Oh, don't lift your thing up, or this is how you do. Like it's like this, like trade secret of some like long lost family. <laughs> like, you know what? It's, <laughs> it's so stupid. You know what? Now it's like the whole nobody like, cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> it's like the, the idea of uh, transparency. <laughs> Help people. Are we done? No. no. Well, yeah, just to show you form. Here, this is something to do. Yeah, you know, the fact that there's somebody out there that knows exactly how to do this better or the right <laughs> correct way or you know, the, what, you, what recipe did you use? Well, I don't know. It's called a handed down recipe. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. <laughs> Fuck you. This is special. This is only mine. <laughs> Okay, I think we have enough for, I, I think I have enough for another one, which is really good. All right, so then that's, uh, that's like 96% uh, done. Actually 95. 
So now, where is my... I'm going to put a little Parmigiano. So, like that salt recipe. So, because I didn't have the salt recipe, I, this one time, I started putting all the herbs that I had, right? So I put all the oregano, like, there's like, I don't know, every herb that you can think of, it's like Vermont. You made your said, own. So I just made my own, and, uh, you know. It ended up the same? <laughs> what do you mean? That would have been funny. What do you mean? I, I was just Is saying, you're talking about your dad. Oh, yeah, you but <laughs> well, his was salt, oh. his is herb. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and so I, you know, kind of went at a different cat. <laughs> but it, it, it does, it all just kind of tastes the same. Yeah. But because of that, I put that on the, 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 I, I put that on the, um, the top. With a little, uh, let's see, I think I'm Get some plastic in there. Good for the immune system. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you know. you get a good shot of plastic. You know, I I have to say every once in a while you have to I kinda eat junk food just because for the fact of like, oh maybe my immune system people wants me to get hit. I'm people like, eat more plastic than they realize. Oh my god, and other things. Mm-hmm. So that is the completion of the creation of a nice little thing. Now I have a little trick that I'm going to show you too, which is just cut some pot stickers in half. And then when you, um, you know, the last one, I, uh, the last, the last one I just kept open and it kind of burned a little bit. It wasn't burnt, but it was just like really well done. And if I put this on there, it just kind of cooks it versus burning the top. And those little sticks kind of hold it. It's not going to stop you from giving it all full of on the cheese and stuff, but that's that. So I'm going to do, um, turn it off. I'm going to do, uh, you know, one 400 for an hour is a little long. You know what? I'm going to do 375 because 350s. Enough. And um, we are going to do for an hour. You know what? I've done 45 minutes. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes, you know what? Yeah, whatever. We're going to look at it at 45 minutes. I really dig like the griddle, the, the metal plate that you can put stuff on and grill. It's really great. 
All right, here we go. 10 minutes to four. We are, oh, what is it? I I have this plate just because it, uh, it drops stuff versus I put it on there and then because it bubbles and should I do that or just do that? yeah I'm gonna let it drop because I'm sitting in the group all right we're about an hour away 10 minutes to four from uh, biting into it well maybe about an hour 10, 10 15 minutes there you go are we ready? <laughs> I think we're ready to, to pop this baby out. Oh, Italian lasagna with lederhosen. Tinfoil really does a trick to not make it burn. And these you can just take off. Actually, you know, that's not so bad just to keep on. Alright. So, let's wait a, little, a couple, couple minutes. <laughs> All right, that's off. Okay, it's been uh, like 15, 15 minutes. Let's uh, yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'm not gonna wait for it to, to, to fully cool. Okay, everything's right. Okay, do you like corner? That's extra. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother, like, situation. You know what? Don't choke on this. I am going to put that over there because I'm going to keep it. Okay. Oh, it's really smushy. If you waited a little bit longer, it would totally kind of, like, be, uh, oh, hard. But you know what? Jesus. I'm just, like, talking about. There's no mistakes in doing things anymore. Oh, do, 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 do. oh shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Let's go. Other than that. Do, 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 do. Look at see it. Let's look at the light of the sun. Do, 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 do. We're gonna eat it. Thanks. <laughs> No, this is like the this is like the full, you know, uh, what do they call it? The reward. 